Hi there boys and girls, welcome to your instructions to your protein synthesis lab. Alright, so if you take a look at your lab, uh, you have an introductory paragraph at the top and then you have two questions to answer based on that introductory paragraph. So be sure that you do that before you start any type of uh, protein synthesis simulation with the cardboard pieces. Once you're done with that, then you can empty out your plastic bag that has the cardboard pieces in them and start to sort them out. Now you can do a couple things. First of all, you have your cardboard pieces, which includes all of your transfer RNAs or your tRNAs. Then you have the amino acids that they bond to and transfer to the ribosome. You have a ribosome. And then what you're going to have next is you're going to have your messenger RNA pieces. So you're going to have four messenger RNA pieces and you're going to have four messenger RNA pieces that you need to translate into proteins. Okay, so once you've organized everything, then you can get started. One other quick tip, if while you're organizing your transfer RNAs and your amino acids, you may want to match them up beforehand. So as you find a transfer RNA, maybe have your partner find the matching amino acid, and you can tell that they match up because the names are the same, plus the color pattern on the bottom of the transfer RNA is going to match the color pattern with the amino acid itself. So you might want to take some time to do that because it's going to save you some time later in the lab. All right, so let's get started on how to do this lab. Alrighty, so first things first, you're going to take your ribosome and you're going to take your messenger one, messenger RNA strand one, and it's going to look like this. You're going to have the number one at the end of it. All right, and what you have to do is you have to slide your messenger RNA into your ribosome, just like in regular protein synthesis, the messenger RNA gets fed into the ribosome. And what you'll notice is that on the side of your ribosome here, you have an opening that you can easily slide your messenger RNA into. So when you do that, what you want to then make sure of is that when you put your messenger RNA into your ribosome, in the first binding site, the peptidyl binding site, you want to make sure there's three bases in there. Because remember, your ribosome reads your messenger RNA in triplet codes, and we call these triplet codes codons. All right? Once you find, or once you put in your messenger RNA into your ribosome, you want to find what's called the anticodon. And the anticodon is the matching code that's found on the transfer RNA. So since my three first three bases are AUG, I need to find the anticodon UAC. Now, if you take a look at some of the other transfer RNAs, you're going to notice that there's a letter I in there. And the letter I also stands for inosine. And inosine is one of those bases that can sometimes fit into, um, fit on a, a messenger RNA during protein synthesis. So just bear, keep that in mind. And the, the letter I can actually bond with U, A's, and C's. They cannot bond with G's. So keep an eye on that as you go through. Okay, so as I was saying before, I need to find a code that says UAC to it. And when I do, I notice that it's the transfer RNA that carries methionine, the amino acid methionine. So I'm going to snap my transfer RNA in there, and then I'm going to look for the amino acid that bonds with it. Okay, or like I said, if you took some time in the beginning of this lab before you got started and you mash them together, you can easily find it. If you find one, you're going to find the other, so it'll save you some more time. All right, so you can snap them in there and then move on to your second codon. So my second codon gives me a triplet code of cytosine, guanine, and uracil. So I need to find an anti-codon that matches up. So this would be G, C, and A. Well, I'll take a look at my pile of transfer RNAs and amino acids, and I'll notice that I have one here. So I'm going to then snap this into place. Once you do that, don't forget, you have a data table that you need to fill out in your lab. So once you put the transfer RNAs into your ribosome, you're going to want to flip on over to the second page of your lab and fill in the code for the matching RNA strand. So you have four sections that you need to fill in, mRNA1, mRNA2, mRNA3, and then mRNA4. All right. So since I'm feeding the messenger RNA in this way and reading from right to left, that's how I'm going to fill out my data table here. 
So since the first three bases are A, U, and G, the anticodon is UAC. And then I'm going to then write the amino acid that bonds with that transfer RNA. And then I'm going to write the second anticodon here. And you can either do it which way, left to right, right to left, whichever way is comfortable for you. You're just copying it. So ACG. All right. And this is, then I'm going to put ARG as my amino acid. All right. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to separate my amino acids from the transfer RNAs because the ribosome is going to bond them together. And this is going to start the building of our protein chain. Once I've bonded my amino acids together, I'm then going to remove my first transfer RNA, put it off to the side, and then I'm going to slide my messenger RNA down three bases. Because remember, the ribosome reads it at three bases at a time. So once I have my codon up here, I'm going to look for my anticodon on the transfer RNA. Since I have CUG, I'm going to have to find the anticodon GAC. And here it is. Let's snap that in there. And then I'm going to transfer with that the amino acid that is carried by that transfer RNA. Now, one other thing. When you match up your transfer RNAs, the anticodons, to the messenger RNA codons, if you're not quite sure if it fits or if you're not quite sure if it's the right one, just double check the shapes here. Okay, if your shapes make triangles or semicircles, then you have the right transfer RNA in the ribosome. Okay, so that's one way to double check yourself, especially if you are using the inosine bases in your transfer RNA. All right, so again, once I have leucine or the transfer RNA for leucine in there, I'm going to write my anticodon, and then I'm going to write the amino acid, and then I'm going to take my amino acid, bond it, remove the first transfer RNA out of the peptidyl site, and then I'm going to feed it down again. And I'm going to continue to do this until I finish this strand. And then once you finish messenger RNA strand 1, then you're going to do messenger RNA strand 2, and then messenger RNA strand 3 after that, and then strand 4 after that. Once you've decoded or translated all of your messenger RNAs into proteins, don't forget to answer the questions at the end of your lab. All right, so that's how you do your protein synthesis lab. So good luck and have fun.